Hi students, let's continue with this uninformed search algorithms. Then another type of uninformed search algorithm is uniform cost search algorithm. So uniform cost. So whenever you are seeing the word cost means that means we are giving the costing weightage to the tree or a graph. So it should be uniform. Uniform means it should be the limited uh, the path that you need to be selected which path is having the less cost to visit that goal node. Okay. So it is best used for traversing a weighted tree or a graph. It comes into play when a different cost is available for each edge. So when this uniform cost search will be uh, using whenever a different cost is available for the each edge. The goal of uniform, uniform cost search is to find a path to the goal the first thing is we need to find a path to the goal goal node which has the lowest cumulative cost this is the matter so we need to find the goal of uniform cost search is to find a path to the goal node whatever the goal node that they are given which has the lowest cumulative cost so the path that you need to be selected that should be the lowest cost in that way you need to be selected the path it expands nodes according to their paths cost from the root node and it can be used to solve any graph or a tree where the optimal cost is in demand. Then what are these? Uh, the uniform cost search algorithm is implemented by the priority queue. So based on the priority queue, we are implementing this the uniform search, uniform cost search algorithm. It gives a maximum priority to the lowest cumulative cost. So what it the maximum the, I'm using the priority queue. So this priority queue is just taking the giving the maximum priority to the lowest cumulative cost only. And it is equivalent to the breadth first search if the path cost of all edges is the same. Then what are the advantages of using this uniform cost search? The advantages are uniform cost search is optimal. Well, this is optimal because at every state, the path with the least cost is chosen. So, when you say optimal, whenever we are reaching the goal with the minimum cost, then we are saying it is an optimal. So, here the name itself is a uniform cost search. So, that's why it is an optimal uh, because at every state of the path, we are choosing only the least cost nodes. Then what about the disadvantages? It does not care about the number of steps involved in searching and only con concerned about path cost. So that is the main disadvantage. If you want to, uh, you just take, uh, if you want to purchase an item, okay, if you want to purchase an item which are present, so many shops are there. So what you will do, you are seeing the best cost for that item. So you are going and asking each and every shop, what is the cost of that item? What is the cost of it? So you are searching so many shops to know the best rate. So whatever the best rate you got, you will go and purchase the item in that particular shop. So that is a main disadvantage because it does not care about number of steps involved. So here you are not caring about to ask each and every shop. Okay, you are visiting each and every shop to find out that uh, item cost. In the same way, uh, this uniform cost search does not care about the number of steps involved in searching and only concern uh, about path cost due to which this algorithm may be stuck in an infinite loop. Okay, this, uh, this sometimes may be stuck in an infinite loop also just like a depth first search. Okay, you're, you're still asking all the shops continuously. Okay, it may lead to the infinite loop also. You're still asking but you're not getting a complete best path. So, there is a cases. Now, let's see the example for this uniform cost search. Let me take an example. So, example for this is, let me take the root node as A, B, C, D, E and here it is F. And this is a G and here it is also a G. Let me take this is also a G. So I'm giving the numberings to this. The weightage, the weightage of the path. 1, so 1, 4, so let me take 3, 2, 5. This is the 5, 5. Uh, this is the take 4, 3. Okay, 
so this is at level 0 level 1 level 2 level 3 total 4 levels total 5 levels 0 to 4 okay so now the thing here is let me take this g is my goal node okay g is goal node so here so many g nodes are there did you observe here this is g g g so which path i need to be take the thing here is a uniform cost search we have to take it as a minimum uh, it's a lowest cumulative cost we need to be selected so first start from the root node okay the root node will take one or four obviously it goes to the one only because one is smaller than the four next it coming to here three and two which path it will be selected so three is greater than two so obviously it goes to the two so when coming to the d what which path it will be selected four or three so the four is greater than three so which one is the less three is the less it reaches the three so it says a g means it is a goal node it finds a path with the minimum cost one plus two plus three five so this is the way you need to be uh, find the path by using the uniform cost search for a, uh, to find out the goal node. Thank you.